Hold on a second. I am back on the road. I made a big mistake. Well, hello. It is a absolutely beautiful July afternoon in Southern California. I have just a bit of time to go into my favorite Salvation Army family store to see if I can find anything that's profitable to flip for profit. That's kind of redundant. <laughs> well, anyway, let's go in and see what we can find. And I just realized I videoed this in vertical instead of horizontal. There we go. Now we're horizontal. It was so cool. I just got back from Arizona and there they had a coupon for Goodwill. 20% off your entire purchase. Oh, there's that car again. There we go. Well, like I was saying, at our local Salvation Armies, we do have a coupon, but it's just for one item, 25% off. But we do have colors of the week. Looks like it is yellow today. So we'll be looking for yellow tags. The first thing I found was this vintage red wing pottery. It's hand painted. I did a quick comp. It looks like they sell for about $10 a piece and they're marked, I think about $1.99 per item. So I just really not interested in storing a bunch of plates and saucers right now, but I'm gonna walk by this on the way out and see if I can I changed my mind. On the same table over here, I spotted these really pretty vases. Look at the glaze and the colors on that. $3.99, it has a mark. Let me see, let's see what that is. Angela, there's that little vase. And then also this one, let's see if this mark $3.99 as well. Also $3.99. They're just really pretty. I have no idea who that is or if they're vintage, but just the colors alone make me want to put it in my cart for now. Does anyone else try to just use this front part of the cart hoping that you're not gonna go crazy today? Let's see if I can stick to just the top. Okay, table next to it. This little coin bank for $1.99 super surprised to see a left end sticker on this so I'm definitely gonna run a comp on that guy here I'm also gonna check for damage in a moment okay up top you go I don't do purses that often and I really don't know much about them but I love the shape of this one it does have like a little dent ding right there and I couldn't find any marking inside except made in China. But it's cute, but $12.99, I think I'll pass on it. But I like how it has two straps. Oh, yeah, some discoloration there too. I think I'll put it back, but I do like that design on the front. Do we like this little pressed glass pink, I believe to be a cake stand? They're asking, $5.99. I don't see any damage. Kind of sweet. I think I will look this up and guess what? We're going to the main part of the cart. Darn it. I love a good set of vintage coasters and this is so pretty, the blue floral, but no price. And I believe it's missing one because we only have one of the blue, two of the red, two of the yellow. Cute, but I have enough one missing sets of coasters to last me a while right now, so I'll leave that one. Look what I found up here, this mouse cookie jar. Oh, it's so cute. Let's see if I can check out the inside. Looks good. Who makes you? Nobody makes you. That may require me to really determine if I like it. Maybe take a picture, see if I can find any comps. And did I see a price on this? No price on there. Turning it all around. Another not marked item there. So questions all around. Let me see what I can find out. This cute guy is a Drain of California piece, which I had never heard of. I saw a sold comp for 32 
and I saw one listed for 45 so I'm gonna take it up and see what they want to ask for it and then I'll decide then if it's below $5 I'll probably grab it so much for sticking to the top part of the cart right okay now this is sweet I actually have been looking for quite some time to find something more than just a plain white ring holder as a gift for somebody who is looking for one and that just might be the one for $1.99. Then we just have some Royal Hagar, I believe, sitting right here for, for $3.99. I don't know if this is a desirable piece of Royal Hagar, but I'll look it up for sure. These catch my eye because they're very vintage looking and very sweet. Little jam jars. This one's a grape one. Marked marked Korea. And a little marmalade. $1.99 each. Those are definitely going with me. Look at the glaze on these little pastry bakers. Look at that. Who is this? What is that? Rook? Parisian Patisserie. It has a website, so I don't know how old this could be. Could be 20 years old. But I'm going to give those a little look up since there's a set of six and they're super pretty. Okay, I saw some comps for two of them for 15. One of them for seven or eight. And I think I saw another set of six red ones for 30. So at 12 bucks for everything, um... It might be a good pickup. I'm gonna have a think on this. I'm gonna put it on my cart for now because it'll be taken soon, I'm sure. I apologize. I'm not sure if I mentioned that they were marked $1.99 each. Ooh, vintage, possibly, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs poster. What are they asking? Oh yeah, yikes. We'll keep an eye on that though. Oh, here we go no date on it but it might be worth looking that up if it goes on sale very cute I really like the looks of this little dish I wish it wasn't marked Portugal but I'm still gonna look up a comp just to see if I might find it but it's just cute there's an interesting piece of art or artwork right here Let's see if I can get it up here it looks like it's just a print, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is a Diane Dangle. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, it's just adorable. Maybe because I worked in schools for 20 years, so it's pulling on my heartstrings. And also my daughter just did a wax museum where she dressed up like um, Betsy Ross and her whole class they were all different characters and they were frozen until you said hello and then they gave their little 30, 30 second speech and then went frozen again it was such a cute project and I don't know the little flag old-fashioned schoolhouse the little sleepy guy <laughs> oh my gosh it's so cute I'm definitely gonna look this up they are asking $9.99 with love is a little little note right there 1973 I think it says it's called school days and it was framed in New York oh how cute oh my gosh you guys look at this vase oh my gosh it reminds me of peacock feathers oh it's really heavy it's like over a foot tall what does it have some sort of marking that I can't make out is this old? I feel like with that signature, it's old. $7.99, I could use my coupon for this one. Oh, no, that's not true. I have things that are more expensive in the cart. I don't know, okay, it's going in the cart for now. It's so pretty. Here's something I've never seen before. They're Norman Rockwell candles, but they're battery operated, so, and also half off, $3.99. And I wonder if that looks pretty cool when it's lit up from the inside. 
Might do a little look up on those as well. Oh no, look what's on this table. Six more of those little Parisian pastry dishes. Do I want six more? No, this is just getting out of control. Holy cow, these glass lamps, two of them. Is this something that I need to know about? Oh my gosh, $90. They're yellow. They're $45 each. They're huge. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Even the lampshades are nice. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Wow. So pretty. I'll take a picture and see if I can get any info on them, but I really don't want to take them. Look at the little chairs. I don't know if that one's made for a child or just a small older person and look at the little rocking chair here oh that's cute 25 on that and 150 on that i'm really not in the market for furniture maybe someday but not today okay i'm back contemplating the little pastry bakers um because that's 12, I could sell three sets of four and probably get about 30 bucks per set with a $24 investment. So 24 into 90 is not bad, but I'm gonna check the sell through rates one more time before I collect these. Okay, the sell through rate wasn't as good as I'd like to see. However, all the solds, um, sell for a pretty good price. So even if I sit on these for a little while, I think it's worth it. They're a good price. So in the cart they go with the others. Okay, so here's some of the research that I did. These are going back on the shelf. There are no sold through comps at all. And there's a couple for sale, maybe for $11, but nothing sold. And this is a sad one for me because the print is just not worth much and that frame is definitely not adding any value to it. So back it goes. Are you surprised to see Hager back on the shelf? Well, if you know more about it than me, then you're not surprised. These pieces only sell for about $12. I was so surprised for this Hager piece, but it's just really the vases that do better. The real cool mid-century modern type ones. So this one's going back. I am very torn with these ones because of how pretty I think that they are. I like the colors a lot, but I just keep hearing voices in my head from over the weekend at my reseller conference. It was um, the camp list perfectly, or camp listing party, and they just kept saying, the money is made in the buy, and I just can't justify $3.99 for these. I will check back to see if they go half off another day. I doubt it. They're really pretty for somebody's personal use, but for resale, I just can't justify it, especially because I can't find any comps. There's no branding um, besides a little sticker that said Angela. So sadly, these are going back. And in case you're wondering, I did put them back with the vases. Okay, well, you might as well be watching this video in reverse because I just can't do the $5.99 when these are selling between 15 and 20 dollars even though it's beautiful and I don't come across cake plates I guess the value has gone down on these it's very sad all right folks that's it for me these are the stays so I'll do a little haul at the end to tell you what I think the value here is and I'll tell you my total after checkout as well sorry after I look at these little blue glass bowls. Okay, they were very lightweight, so I can check out now. Hold on a second, I am back on the road. I made a big mistake and I'm heading back to the store. The sun is setting on a beautiful day. I'm actually rushing back to the store because I couldn't get those beautiful lamps out of my mind. Research showed I really should have picked them up. I really should have been the crazy lamp lady today. And so I'm rushing back in 10 minutes to spare to see if they're still there. 
and if it's meant to be. Okay, heading back in. Let's see if they're still there. Okay guys, moment of truth. I think I see them. Oh my gosh, they're still there. They're on a different table. I, I remember seeing that the table had a sold sign on it. Okay, checking them over to for damage, getting them in the cart. So it's gonna be 50% off of $89.99 each. It'd be awesome if it was for the pair. Oh my gosh, so pretty. All right, I'm gonna get these into the cart. Success! Am I the crazy lamp lady now? All right, I'm actually really excited. These are beautiful. But I've never seen this Pioneer Woman piece before. It's really pretty. I wonder what this one is right here. This looks kind of interesting too. Is there two pieces here? These are Pioneer Woman. Look at that. I have to open these up and see what they are. By the way, now that I'm in the store this evening, I forgot to mention that I had to put this back because it had major damage. Crack, crack, crack. So that was a bummer. I don't know if I've ever showed how big the Salvation Army is. It is humongous and they take such good care of it. So my favorite store by far. Okay, two lamps. Two Pioneer Woman items. I may or may not have picked up the pink depression glass cake plate. It's a secret for later. Okay, I did. Because I think I'm going to put it in my booth at the Good Stuff thrift store. And I think it'll do really well there. And the cashier was very strong. Was able to uns... <laughs> I can't even get my card to go the right way. She was able to unstick one of those Pioneer Woman canisters for me and then sold just the one for $1.99. So I took that because those are both unique items that I had never seen before. So now I need to go back to my family. And this was the other Pioneer Woman item that I picked up. It's metal and it's um, a measuring canister. So really like that too. And this was exciting. Since I came back a second time today, I was able to use my 25% off coupon a second time. So I went ahead and picked up the pink depression glass cake plate. And I'm really excited about it. It is very pretty. So let me know very quickly if you want to purchase this before it goes to Las Vegas. So I didn't have to rush after all. My local Salvation Army is now open until 9 p.m. That's crazy. One beautiful baby in the car. And the second one right next to me. Thank you. 